What's up everyone, today I'm going to be explaining and showing you how to use Kibble. Now this is a brand new thing that's been introduced in version 186 of Arc. And basically you can make loads of different types, I only have a few here. But um, I am going to put a lot of useful links in the description, so make sure you go and check that out. That includes the form page where it tells you uh, what combinations of recipes to use to get which Kibble to use on specific animals. So in case you didn't know, when you're, uh, when you're taming something, I'm just going to go over to this T-Rex which is chilling here. Uh, you'll see that it says taming effectiveness 67.1% or it'll say like 40%, 30%, whatever, and it'll tell you how many levels it gains. Now I'm just using this Rex as an example here, uh, so it says it'll gain one level. Now, before you couldn't really do anything about this, it was kind of just, at the by the end of the tame, as taming effectiveness obviously decreases with time, um, you might start on like 100 cents him effectiveness and get like 20 levels or something. That's obviously exaggerated, but you get a lot of levels, and by the end you'd only get one or two, which was really annoying because there was no way you could really increase that. That is exactly what the kibble's for, and we are going to be making the kibble for uh, T-Rex taming. So what you need to do that is, and this is like pretty much the same for every. Well, the way you go about doing it is the same for every kibble, but you just use a different egg and a vegetable as a start point. So, I'm going to look at the recipe here. You don't actually need the recipe to make this, but it does come in useful, especially because like you tend to forget, although you can just check forms and come back to this video. So you need one egg, uh, cooked or jerked meat, a vegetable, two mojo berries, three fiber, and some water and stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, a pulmine scorpus egg which I've just had prepared from earlier and dump that in this cooking pot. I also need some jerky uh, prime meat. So I've just, if you don't know how to make jerky, you just put spark powder, three oil, oh no sorry, it's one oil, three spark powder and whatever you're trying to jerky and then it'll make that jerky. So here we are, I've got everything in here. I've got the merge berries, prime meat jerky, long grass, the pulmy scorpius egg, some water, a water container that's more than a quarter full. You can obviously use water skins, I just had a water jar on me, so thought I'd use that, and some fibre. I've gone a bit overboard with all the resources. Uh, you don't really have to do that, you probably will do for the long grass though, because they spoil so quickly, it's not even worth it. I always also like using spark powder because it lasts the longest, lasts 60 seconds, instead of 30 like wood does. And uh, I think that only lasts for seven and a half seconds. You don't need to worry about using wood in this actually because uh, normally if you had berries in a recipe, it's a bit awkward because obviously the wood would form charcoal. That would form uh, mixed with the water and the berries and form dyes a lot faster than the recipe would form. But merger berries don't form a dye, so you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, I'm going to light this fire. It does take a while to cook, but I will come back as soon as um, the kibble has been formed. Right, so here we go, it didn't take too long, the kibble has actually formed here, so it's the Pullman Scarce Egg kib Kibble, and this is, like I said before, if you look at the table on um, the Gamerpedia arc forms, it'll tell you exactly which ones to use with which dinosaur, but do last for absolutely ages, so you don't need to worry about that, in fact, if I just chuck it in the fridge, it's just going to go crazy, as you can tell, uh, so yeah, that's all good. Now, if we go over to this dinosaur over here, this T-Rex, you notice that the uh, taming effectiveness has got dropped quite a bit. It's at 46% now. And if I drag this in, it will act as a food and pretty much the primary food is the same way if you put a raw prime meat in, that would get eaten first before anything else. So I'm going to do that and then wait for it to eat it and see how I'll just sort of leave the taming bar up on screen and then when it does eat it we'll be able to see exactly how things increase and where to go from there. I don't know if you saw that like massive jump there in taming but that was actually the kibble having its effect as it's obviously eating it and uh, this does work a lot better obviously if you stockpile a lot of those kibbles and literally just feed it that so you'd need a lot less food, they last for a lot longer, so you can actually stockpile it unlike pro raw prime meat. You don't have to go out hunting all the time when you're getting big tames, which obviously I think it's going to make it a lot easier for those people playing in single player. I'm sorry I can't really give a demonstration properly about this, but 
I mean, the amount of time it takes to uh, tame a really large animal like a Rex or something, it's, uh, yeah, I don't really want to be sat around here for two hours or whatever. So, yeah, that's that's Kibbles. It's a really nice addition to the game. I hope this video has helped you. If you've got any questions, please just drop a comment below and um, I'll try and answer it as best I can. I do a lot of other art videos like this, so please go and check them out. Subscribe to my channel if it's helped and like this video. If you're new to ARK and you want to join a server or you just want to join a different server, you can come join mine. There's a link in the description below. We'll, uh, we'll try to help you out and sort you out and whatever and make sure you know how to play the game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.